Hey Knitters, it's Wednesday, and today is awesome because I'm breaking all the rules. Okay, first things first. I don't know if everyone else has noticed, but we are now up to 52 subscribers. Yeah, 52 subscribers. You know what that calls for? Strawberry Hill. <laughs> Okay, um, this weekend was homecoming weekend, and me and my friend decided to go to Walmart and look at their alcohol section, and, because I'm 21 now, and it was Strawberry Hill, so I bought some. It was only $2.97, and it's okay, I have to admit. Um, surprisingly, okay, out of the, like, three alcoholic beverages that I've tried since I've been 21, Strawberry Hill was the best one. Maybe that just means I have horrible taste. I don't know. <laughs> but I completed the Strawberry Hill challenge. Yeah. Okay, um, back to the subscriber thing. Um, we really want to do something to celebrate this, so viewers, I'm calling out to you. Viewers! 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 Come over here. Leave some freaking comments. If you guys have any kind of challenge or something you want us to do to celebrate your awesomeness for subscribing to watch us, um, or just questions you want us to answer or whatever, please leave them in the comments and we will try to do those. Um, and if nobody responds, we're still going to try to do something that's awesome um, for the subscribers because we love you. So thank you guys so much for, you know, making it to 50 and now 52, so we'll try and get even more. Speaking of challenges, I'm going to roll my die now. Um, this week I have a question instead of a challenge. My question is, are you dressing up for Halloween? And if you are, what are you going to be? That's me. Oh, six, that doesn't help us. Six again. Priming. Laurie. Tell us what your kids are gonna be. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be a voting booth for Halloween, and I know that sounds kind of lame, but um, I am, and I'm making it myself, and I'm in the process of it, and I think it looks pretty good so far. I need to go out and get some like patriotic fabric before I can finish it, because I'm gonna make like a little curtain and maybe like a little. I don't want to say a skirt, but, you know, something to go around the bottom of it. Because right now, it's just a white box with vote on it. Um, so I'll definitely show you guys pictures of that when I'm done. And my apartment office is holding a costume contest on Halloween. So me and my roommate, Brittany, are going to go down to that. And I'll let you guys know if I win. Moving on. Danny, you talked about uh, you wanted to start a knitting nerdfighter charity, and I totally love that idea. Um, I think I'm a pretty good leader, so I would definitely, you know, help you get that started if you want to. I think if we were going to do it, we would need to settle on, like, one or two items to make instead of, like, a wide variety, and we'd need to, like, decide on some kind of central pattern, and, and then we'd also need to decide where these are going and um, how we would raise money and that kind of thing. See, I told you, my wheels are always turning. Okay, um, but yeah, I would love to help you out with that if you wanna email, figure out something, or talk to the Ning, whatever. Okay, so let me know. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Let's see. Um, I'm not really going to talk about my week because I don't really think my week has been very interesting thus far. Um, talk a little bit about knitting. My sister's birthday present is not going as far along as I wanted. Ah, there, you saw part of it. <laughs> um, I'm Hannah, my sister, has admitted that she hasn't watched YouTube in a while, so I think it's pretty safe to tell you that it's a blanket. Um, I won't really tell you anything else about it. Um, and that was a big undertaking, and I probably shouldn't have done that, um, 
so I really hope that I finish it in a timely fashion. I just haven't had time to work on it lately. I just have not been in the knitting mood, um, but I might work on it something later. I wanted to do some yesterday, but I was just so tired last night, so I didn't. So, yeah, I, I need to get that finished, because I feel bad, because it was my sister's present. One last thing before I go, and that's John's books. I finished Paper Towns, and um, Looking for Alaska is still my favorite John Green book, but Paper Towns was definitely very good, and all the nerd fighters should read it. Um, I also got Let It Snow, and I only read John's part, and I need to read the other two, because um, my roommate heard me laughing when I was reading John's part, and so she, I, I let her read it, and um, she said the rest, the, the other two stories are just as good. Um, and I actually, like, really, really liked John's part, like, just mega a lot. Um, I think Paper Towns and Looking for Alaska are kind of sad, and, and, you know, Catherine's is a little more happy, but Colin in that is still kind of emo, but Let It Snow is just, like, a feel-good, happy story, and I really like it, and it was really funny, and I think John needs to write more comedy, because it just was... I mean, I laughed probably on every page. It was a really good story. And I can't wait to read um, the other two. So, yeah. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys think about Paper Towns and Let It Snow. But I don't really want to say too much because I don't want to give it away. Um, so, let me know. And I will see Clara tomorrow.